Hello, and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about J scroll panes. So in other words, it's like the scroll bars, the vertical and horizontal scroll bars you see on screen. Um, so I wrote this quick program, right? Uh, and this is basically what it does. So, um, so next port it, I click scroll pane. So this is an example. Uh, so it's reading off this text file, right? And it's pretty darn large. And you know, this uh, J text area, which I'm going to be displaying this information, also has word wrap on it. Uh, so basically, it's not showing the entire, you know, the entire text. It's going over. Um, so the actual size of the component is larger than the uh, frame. That is not what we want. So actually, what we want is to actually is to have a J scroll pane, which will allow us to scroll through the um, scroll the uh, text area. Um, so let me just close this and go over here. So I set up a quick example, and so you see it's reading off the text here. So here's my text area. Uh, below this, I'm going to start. I'm going to create my uh, J um, scroll pane. So say, actually, it doesn't really need to be final. So J scroll pane. I'm going to call it just scroll because it's like the most generic thing ever. Goes to J scroll pane. Okay. So here, I'm going to specify what it's going to be attached to. So I'm going to specify that it's going to be attached to the text area, component text area. And so this is where I'm going to be uh, doing, uh, attaching my attributes to the scroll, uh, to the actual scroll bars. So I'm going to say J scroll pane dot, and so you can see the list of uh, stuff here. So I'm going to say um, vertical saw, uh, scroll bar always. So in other words, it will um, show the scroll bar even when it's not needed or vertical scroll bar as needed which is what I'm gonna do um, is um, if it's needed it will put it there so it will only show it if something expands the size of the original component or something so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do another one for the horizontal scroll bar and since I already have word wrap on my uh, J text area, I'm going to make sure that it will never show the horizontal scroll bar because um, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, scroll pane dot horizontal scroll bar never. All right, and one more thing before uh, this is something a little bit different. You see down here that the um, the window is going is showing the text area. That's not going to automatically show the uh, scroll component. Instead, what we're going to do is going to show scroll. Now, uh, this will uh, show the uh, uh, J scroll pane and the J text area together, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to just uh, clean and build. And so I just compiled the program, and I'm going to copy and paste this in here. And there we go. And so now, as you can see, uh, it now has a vertical scroll pane, which is pretty damn cool. So now I can view all the text rather than just seeing what is there right now. I can now scroll down. And even, oops, even if I, you know, resize the uh, frame, it will readjust the scroll bar accordingly. That's pretty cool. And so there's a lot of stuff you can do. This. You don't have to do it with text areas. You can do it with panels and canvases and all these other cool things. So if you wanted to display an image or something or whatever, you can use the scroll pane to scroll through that. You could use it on buttons. I don't know why, but you could use it on a button. 
it's I mean super flexible and super useful. I use it all the time, and a lot of other people use it all the time. It's just an amazing and extremely useful component that if you are working on GUI applications, this is something that you should know. So I actually I think that's kind of like it. I'm going to um, add the source code um, in the comment section. Not the comment section. The description, video description. Um, so it'll be it'll be there. Just look down there. Um, so if you learn something from this video, you know, leave a like, um, like the video, and if you have questions about this, uh, put in the comment section. Or if you have any suggestions for future videos or just questions in general, just put also put them in the comments, and I will respond to them as fast as I can. Um, and depending on how who how many people comment, I will uh, try to talk to you closely about you know try to constantly talk to you and make sure that whatever question you gave will get answered. Well, at least to the best of my ability. Um, so, that's it. So, uh, see you next time.